Pie shots are a great way to structure your data. And in this video, we want to build this pie shot here with some indicators at the bottom. And also if you tap here on something, then you see here this in a bigger version. Here in our pie shot widget, I've created already a card and a column. And inside of the column, we want to place our pie shot. So basically call the pie shot of this plugin FL shot. So make sure that you have this in your dependencies inside, inside of your pubspec drummer file. And now inside of this pie shot, we need to supply the data. So here we call pie shot data. And here inside, you can define the different sections of your pie shots. And therefore we create a new method. And here in a different file, I created this method get sections. And now we simply want to go over all of our data. So I have created here a new file and here I have put all the data inside, which we later need. And there I have defined the different sections, which we have. I have also put here percentage for them and some color. And this will later be here our different sections, which we have and also the titles which we choose here at the bottom. And now here back at the get sections, we want to call here first on this data as map. And here you see we get an index and then the data and the index we need later. So we already use this here. And now we want to map over all of our data. So we get every single data here inside and then we can transform it to a pie chart section data, which we need to return here for this method. And after it, we want to get here only the values. So we don't want to get the index anymore. So we want only to get the data and we transfer it here to a list. And now comes the basic part, what we need to do here. So we need to return first of all here map entry because of this as map structure. And now we need to define the value. And this is a core thing, what we want to do here. So we need to define the value of each section. And therefore we create this new value and put here this pie chart section inside. And this represents basically one section of this one here or this one. And now we can define here all the data. So basically we define first of all the color and he takes the data out of this pie chart data every time. And then we also can define here a title with a percentage at the end. And this will later be displayed here inside. So you see that we have here every time a percentage after it. And basically you can define the title like you want inside of this title method. And then we have also the title style. You can define your own style here. And I go here with the basic style and a color of white. And that's what we need to do for the first version. So you see that we already have here this pie chart and we have created here the different sections. And now we do the modifications to put this pie chart here to this design. And this is also pretty simple. And by the way, if you want to get the source code, you can get it with the first link in the description. And with the second link in the description, you can buy my Flutter courses where I teach you how you become a better Flutter developer. First of all, I like to remove with you this border because I don't really like it. And therefore you can access your border data and set the border data to false. And if we do this, then we have no border here anymore. Then I also want to put here the space between the sections to zero. So right now we have here a space of two by default. And if you put it to zero, then you have no white space here. And now it is removed. And if you don't like it, or if you want to have more space, you can even increase the space. So let's put it to eight. And then you see we have here more space. For this example, I've put it again to zero. And then we also can set here the center space radius, and this will be the radius of our center. And now if I hot reload, you see that we have here less space and you can increase it or decrease it like what you want to have here. We have already accomplished a lot with this pie chart and now we want to build here the indicators at the bottom and that's what we do right now. Here in our column, I will put the indicator after this pie chart. So here I put a row inside and I make it centered. Then I have here some padding and inside of this padding, we want to build our indicators widget, which will be the text, which you see here at the bottom. And here inside of our indicators widget, we want to create a column. And I set also the cross axis alignment. And now we want to go over all of our data. So we will display all of our data. 
and there we want to access the name field and also the color and therefore I map here over all of this data and now I want to create the single row. So we want to create each individual row here which is a color and some text next to it and therefore I create here a container and I put here some padding inside and now we want to build the section itself so we create this indicator and we will also put the color inside and the text next to it and now we create here a new method with this indicator and put here basically the color and text inside and then we also put here some more things inside what you later can modify if you like and now we build this row here first of all we create this color at the beginning so we create here some width and height so by default it's like a size of 16 and then we have here the decoration so we can choose if we want to show a circle or if we want to show a rectangle and what you see here right now is that we show here a circle and sometimes maybe you want to show a rectangle instead so what we do here is we ask here if it's a square and if it's a square then we want to show a rectangle and otherwise we show here a circle and we also set here the color of the circle or of this rectangle then we have some space between our color and also the text and now we simply want to create here some text with some text style and also with the text color and now if i hot restart you see that we have here all the labels what we created so basically here in the beginning we created first of all the color and then we created the text next to it and now inside of your build indicator you can also define that these should be a square so you simply put here a square inside and then if i hot reload you see that we have here a square instead i will comment this out so you can access it in your source code later and now what is missing and what we want to implement is that every time if you press on a section it should highlight this section and also make this here bigger and also the font size first of all we go here back to our pie chart page and want to put here this pie chart itself into an expanded and now this gets here more space and then at the bottom we have now the sections and now we want to care that if we press here that it is showing in bigger and therefore we simply go to our pie chart data and here inside we have a property pie touch data and we create here this object and inside of it we put here this callback touch so we can listen every time if we press here on one of these sections and now we put here inside that if we end our touch then we want to put here a field at the top touched index to minus one because if we end our interaction then it should hide again that we highlight here something and otherwise if we are touching something then we want to put here the touched index to the index of our data so basically we take here our pi touched response and get here the section index so this is the index of the one which we have selected here and now we also need to display this touched index and therefore I put it here into the sections so here inside and now here inside of our pie chart sections we add this index now we can modify here this section which is responding here to this individual section which we have and now we first of all check if this individual section is touched and we simply compare the index which we get from our data with the touched index and if that's the case then we want to do later some modification and we also want to add here some font size so the font size we want to put here inside and now what we want to do is we want to change the font size depending on if we have touched it or not and how we can do this is if it is touched then we have a greater font size and if it's not touched then we have the normal font size of 16. and now we can try this out so if i click here on something you see that it gets bigger and also here and every section gets then bigger and you also can increase here this section itself so we want to increase it also and what we do therefore is to add here some radius and this will increase the radius of this section and if it's touched we have a greater radius than if it is not touched and then you put here your radius inside and now it looks like this so we have here a greater radius every time if we press here on a different section 
And you can also increase here your general shard if you want. So you simply put your higher values inside. So let's put here 80 and 100 inside. And now we have here bigger shard and you can also then see here all the values better and clearer. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye!